Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at arithmetic sequences. So let's go ahead and get started. So imagine you have a friend and your friend, they buy a car for $10,000. Of course, obviously it's a very, very used car. And your friend knows that in five years, they can sell the same car for $5,000. You can see this is a very basic example here, $5,000, like so. Now, we want to try to look at this practically. So in year one, what's going to happen is as follows. So we'll just put year one. It'll be 10,000 minus 9,000. Oh, excuse me, 1,000. And that's going to equal 9,000. You can see what's going on here. And then in year two, to show you what's going on here, because he's marking it down $1,000 a year. This will make more sense in a minute. It'll go from 9,000, oh, 9,000 minus that 1,000 again. And it's gonna equal 8,000. And then he's going to go into year three here. And it's now gonna be 8,000 minus that same 1,000 going to equal 7,000. And then year four, you're going to have that 7,000 minus that 1,000 again. It's going to equal 6,000. And then finally year five, you're going to have that 6,000 minus the 1,000 equals 5,000. So this is our sequence written out by hand. And so what makes this an arithmetic sequence is that there's a constant there's a constant term that is that is being removed between terms there's a difference the the difference is constant in other words in other words every year is minus 1000 all the way down each year is, is always minus 1000 this difference is constant so in year one I, I start with 10 I, I, I year one I have 9000 at the end of, at the end of year one I have 9000 at the end of year two, I have 8,000. There's a constant difference in terms of what is happening here. Now, when we're talking about arithmetic, it could be subtraction, which this time is a difference, or it could be addition, or, you know, a sum if you want. But in this example, it's minus 1,000, minus 1,000, minus 1,000. And that is what makes it arithmetic, an arithmetic sequence, in that the difference between terms is always constant. It's always subtract 1,000 in this particular situation. And so if I had to give you the general formula for this, going to be a sub n whoops is going to be you find out what your initial term is a1 and then your next one is going to be a1 plus the difference comma a1 plus the difference times 2 comma you get the idea I'm running out of space here that is the 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 formula here in this particular situation so if I had to go through my example again, I started with 10,000. So that was my first one. And then I have 10,000 plus minus 1,000. So in other words, 10,000 minus 1,000. That's what. So this is my initial term. This is year one, if you will. And then I have 10,000 plus, you could say, you know, negative, oh, excuse me, plus two times 1,000, negative 1,000 again like that and so then I get from 10,000 to 9,000 right here to 8,000 etc this is what's happening when you are dealing with an arithmetic sequence the difference between terms is constant so in this particular example minus 1,000 minus 1,000 minus 1,000 alright let's do another one here let's say you have the following sequence of numbers you have negative 3 1 5 9 and 13 all right so again you have to find a, a pattern here and because this is a video on arithmetic sequences we know it's going to be arithmetic so that just makes things a lot easier so what is the difference between negative 3 and 1 so how do I get from negative 3 to positive 1 well I'm sure you guys know the answer It's going to be plus 4 how do I get from 1 to 5 plus 4 how do I get from 5 to 9 plus 4 you get to, you get the point here so in this particular situation, our D or our difference this time is going to be 
positive 4. So this time we're increasing. The last time it was decreasing. But again, when the increase or the decrease is constant, when that value does not change from term to term, you have an arithmetic sequence. All right, let's do one more slight variation on this. Imagine you know the following. You know that your first term, your A1, is going to equal 14. And you know that your difference is going to be minus 3. So you're going to take away. Now, the question that we want to do is, is that can we find the first three terms? Find first three terms. Okay, well, let's do it. It's not going to be that difficult. So we already know from, from a prior slide that our formula here is just going to be you know, A1, then A1 plus D, oh, A1, A1 plus uh, 2D, etc. So our A1, change colors here, is 14. That's what we got. And so our A2 is going to be 14, basically minus 3 and um, our third term is going to be 14 uh, technically it should be, should be plus but I'm going to make it simple minus 3 times 2 etc so for the first three terms it's going to be 14 then 11 then 8 because negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 14 minus 6 is 8 and that is essentially how you do this so you can see that Sequences, at, at least at this point, arithmetic sequences are not that complicated. In a future video, I'll show you how to, you start with two random terms or for whatever, and you have to try to figure it out. And that, that took a little bit of time, and I have to do a separate video on that. But let me try to summarize what we talked about today and wrap this video up. So, in this video today, we talked about arithmetic sequences. An arithmetic sequence is when you have... A set of numbers and the difference between any two numbers is constant and so in our first example here the difference between the the years was always one thousand dollars less minus one thousand minus one thousand and that is the key feature of an arithmetic sequence is that you have a constant uh, a constant difference between terms that's what's happening there and so that's how you're able to pick up the pattern and so in this example right here the difference was plus four between every every number what they have in common, the pattern here is always plus four, plus four, plus four. And then for this last one, what happened was is that we were given the initial term and the difference, and we had to find several other terms. So in this particular example, we had to find the first three terms. And so you take your pattern, as we've already mentioned before, and you just plug in your information like so. And it's, that's how it works. So I hope that this video was simple and easy to understand, and you were able to appreciate it. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.